overseas, then I feel like their skill would just, at least their overall performance would continue to improve. Uh, but look, we've got a game to talk about now because Mindfreak showed up, FlyQuest showed up, everyone's in the server and they're ready, rip roaring, and bloody good to go. Indeed, indeed. That's very good to see. It is going to be FlyQuest to start on CT side. Yeah, Mind Freak. Keeping things off on T. Let's see how this one plays out. It'll be important for Mind Freak to get this pistol started nicely. P250 for pain. So he's got quite the job to do, being the one to be able to take that challenge to the USPs at range. Flash over the top. Be nicely avoided by Alistair. And he's under a bit of pressure, but does at least manage to get himself the one for one. Sets things up nicely for Liaz, who will also do the same. But this is the push that will break the round open. Yeah, we'll see what we're going to be able to grab here. Dexter. Julie's nice reaction, but takes a bit more than he gives. And Mind Freak with Slimy's position, not quite known. I think they're, they are aware that he could be around here somewhere. Vexite slides into a nice position there just to stop any rotations from outers. Doesn't really want to get caught out isolated. And in the meanwhile, oh, that's the info. Slimy's been seen. CTs readjust their positions just to try to play this one together. Yeah, Slimy just about to get timed here as well by Vexite. Almost. Has been spotted out as well, and that info will be fed up Exite and fairly straightforward pistol round win going to the back pocket of FlyQuest. So the campaign begins quite nicely on Nuke. No bomb yeah. plan either for Mind Freak, which is going to give them fewer options here in round two. That's Mind Freak going for Nada. No bomb plan. It's the full save. Let's see what. We can find from the Glocks though. What's the call? Bombs going in. Outers, no. He passed across. And Mind Freak just chilling on T roof. Hanging around the lobby. Looking like they are just going to try and. Is just utility? Liaz spotting the barrel of the Glock there. MP9. Solid weapon. And it's going to be able to find two before falling away. Liaz with half health. He isn't going to be the one pushing this alley and Vexite to do the honors there, and that should be just that. Tux getting taken out by Dexter. Everyone putting their hand in, except for Inns, who was happy to sit back with the M4, and that'll be that. Two and zero. FlyQuest off to a Scorcher. Lovely stuff. But first gun round could be a little bit of a different look, as the AK is now in hand for Mind Freak. able to bring to the table up against the triple mp9 setup from FlyQuest. I wonder if we see something in the same vein from the CT side again. Vex side at least wants to get a bit aggressive and so too does Dexter. So once again FlyQuest are the ones that are kind of taking matters into their own hands. Real slow, just with that newer smoke wall. Seen a couple of teams adapting with that one. The waterfall smoke combined with the two smoke wall just to create a lot of space for the teams to play around. And you can see that they've slid all the way down here. Pain makes some noise, making his way to secret. Ends very much in a one and done position, but he's got so much information as the T's walk right back. So crossfire from Liaz and Ali able to pivot off of any information. Liaz gets that info. Now it's all about how Ali plays this one. Finds the super over towards Little Blue. He's in a rough position, but with that dink, he has the confidence to go for another wide swing pain. Super right back. And now it is just going to be the pain train to try and do it all himself, but he won't be able to. Liaz from afar, tapping away with the MP9. And FlyQuest find three, get three free upgrades to AK-47s. And Mind Freak are going to be kicking themselves that they didn't get much done on their first gun round. Indeed. Not only that, but they've actually kind of gifted a few AKs over to FlyQuest. So that will make matters a little bit worse. So it's going to be back to pistols and armor for Mind Freak here for round number four. Yeah, we're progressing through this one pretty nicely so far. Mind Quest uh, keeping a pretty good pace. 
Mind Freak as of yet haven't really been able to bend them at all. Oof. Awkward. You think onto Ali. Odd position. Vexlight playing the little pocket next to the smoke. Then. From Mind Freak. Four spikes. Well, all things considered. But with Tuck's falling, things get a little bit harder. Molly on the AK, so it doesn't get refreshed or retrieved. And there's just space created with by Dexter it out. Is fully fighting for as much as they can find. And still having three alive at the end of that round means. Their finances still going to look nice and healthy, and Mind Freaks, well, they won't after the buy, but at least they've got everything they need in round five. Yeah, still four and zero, though, starting to look a little bit precarious. I mean, it is Black West, it is CT side, so I'm not going to count my chickens before they hatch, but it seems though we are going to get a night that is to be expected. I think we're gonna toss a fair bit of util out toward that A bomb site, but they haven't really used any of it just yet. Gonna explore outer as well. Take things maybe a little bit slower in this round and see if they can try to isolate a couple of aim duels. Only goes into secret. And we'll spot Dexter. There's no room for it just yet. Super has his angle, but Inns is just a little bit better. It's a danger of playing against. Quest. They're just gonna do it a little better than you are. One, two, three. All of them getting involved. Ins, Ali, Dexter, and Mind Freak have lost the round, basically. Yeah. Black Quest feeling it. Looking sharp as anything. Dexter yet to die. And Tux and Slimy are just trying to figure out how the hell to make a 2v5 work against the best team in the country. Tux just making sure that there's no aggression into lobby. Flash at door. CTs get the info off of it. That's exactly what Dexter was looking for, and he'll find more with the kill. Slimy now. Seen as well. <laughs> nah. 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 Five zero. My quest just taking it around at a time, putting one foot in front of the other. Nothing too fancy about this one. Mindfreak not able to find the answers just yet. And again, another half by to come. So, a bit of util to play within this one. Might prompt a little bit of a faster take into the A bomb site potentially with weapons like the Tech Nines available, but even despite all of that util being extended from Mindfreak and some counter util tossed out by FlyQuest, Mindfreak are not quite committing to this fight. So again, it'll be another slower round. Right, what do we got here? Sitting back, Ali. Not gonna be able to find too much action. Mindfreak going real quick towards that lower side, towards the mid round. Lee has gone out, ready to fight, ready. Keep on swinging, him and ins. Bash Brothers doing as much as they can. Big damage to the super. Couldn't quite find that second. And Vexlight ready for the swing back. Nice fast rotation to FlyQuest. Off of the information, just making all the right moves. Solid protocols just being displayed here. And Mind Freak, unfortunately. Look, I'm pretty sure Slimy is the uh, top of like the Face It leaderboard at the moment. He's got the most ELO in Australia or in OS or whatever. On our servers, uh, but he's yet to kill this game, which is unfortunate. Same for Gump. So it just goes to show that even though you are the pug star, the best in the biz, sometimes that doesn't translate against the actual best team in the biz, and that right now is FlyQuest. But Jordan, we have an opening. Mind Freak, a man advantage for what I'm feeling like is the first time. Yeah, that uh, is a start. We'll see if Mind Freak can actually convert it because oftentimes, yeah, things like this will happen. I mean, in he's still a bit of spot of bother, but he's going to get helped out by Dexter. Just as Mind Freak get that opener, start to look like they might be able to take a round. Well, they were miles away from even getting close to the round in the end. Slimy 
will also fall to Vexite, and that was about the cleanest 4v5 you're ever going to see, because that's now 7-0 and zero for FlyQuest, and they are absolutely stomping their way through this match now. Hang on. Give me a tab check. Can we get a cheeky tab check? I want to know. Are we looking for James Bonds? Yeah, we, do we have two James Bonds in the server, or are we just... Do we have some assists in the column? I don't know if we're getting that tab check. Well, I'll check on HLTV shortly. But uh, it is a stellar performance so far from FlyQuest. Locking it in, and that's what we want to see from a team like this before they head across to represent the region. At IEM Dallas, big damage out of that HE. And three Ts. Ooh, all looking a little bit stuck, but they will be able to slide their way down the door, and I don't think FlyQuest were quite aware. Slow on the rotation down towards lower. Leo is still chilling at ramp. Makes it like a bomb where he crossed into sights. Dexter falling. Don't tell me this is the round. Surely not. If Inns goes down, then it could be. Even if he doesn't go down, he's going to have to spend so much time trying to find this kill. Really has to pick the pace up here and take something away. He can't get on top of Super. I mean, he, he did get on top of Super, but I guess that was kind of the problem. Smoke's going to go into the double doors. Alley with the flash there as well. Just trying to set Vexide up for anything. It's going to have to be a smoke defuse. Vexide to tap the bomb again. He's heard the shots coming through. The steps, rather. Alley now on that defuse. Might actually be able to get this one done inside the smoke. Comes too late. And you have got to be kidding me. Flame Freak just cannot buy around at the moment. That is 8 and 0 for FlyQuest, and they should never be winning that one. What they can buy is guns every round, especially with bomb plants like that. So we're going to see uh, another round, hopefully, that goes better than that for Mind Freak. They are going to take another tactical. Of course, things aren't going their way. And I feel like Gump's motivation might have just been uh, dug into the ground with that little play. Very unfortunate for them. But. They got close, and that's the closest they've been so far. So let's see if they can maybe salvage like three or so rounds here at the end of the half. FlyQuest, though, they got money for days. Look at Leah, 16k. He hasn't bought yet, but everyone else uh, towards the five-figure mark except for Inns. Yeah, Inns, so we'll see what goes Inns in. not doing too well, is he? He's doing all right. Not in the money department. Cash, cash wise, I mean. Yeah. That's had to reinvest a little more. Big donations from the homies, though. Um, I mean, is it too early to start talking about a potential 13 0? Because this is looking quite dire for Mind Freak tonight. Uh, they've, had their, they've had their. They have had their, like, fingers in the pie a little bit, you know, in a couple of rounds where it's looked like maybe something could happen, but. The fact that they don't win that previous round is not ideal at all. It's going to be a little bit awkward because that waterfall smoke hasn't landed quite the way that it needed to either. So it might be going to be charging their way forward, but oh. it will end up actually working out. A couple of entries there from Slimy and they're on to the A site. Inns with the late push through the smoke is at least going to be able to peg one back and get away to safety. Ali waiting patiently. Taking away his position with that flash tossed in. Well, it doesn't seem as though he did, but either way, Mind Freak have gotten themselves a round. And uh, yeah, I did indeed speak too soon in mentioning the elusive 13-0. That's a clap. That's a clap. They did it. They did it. They're not going to get 13-0, Jordan. Yep. Can't believe you brought that up. That's so disrespectful. But it could have happened. You know, there was a world where that, where that was happening. Uh, FlyQuest, though, have a look at the money. They're going to be able to fly up here. And then the next round. Maybe not the next round, though. Depending on how Mind Freak go. But let's not count our chickens just yet. Because there are no chickens on you can count. Flash towards red. Gump. Not going to be able to get a trade on that one. Lovely little defensive smoke to have play around here. Red box and Dexter. He is not done. He always. Oh, we uh, we, I actually backed him to go the whole way up. I reckon that was the play, but uh, getting caught on the ladder. Unfortunately, does not go his way. A little bit of fun, a little bit of action, and now pain. In a rough position, to put it lightly. 
Well, that's a tough one. You're never really going to be able to win that as pain with an orb. So, immediate response from FlyQuest. Straight back into the swing of things. Mm. How has Gump got 10k? That's a lot of money. Forgot to buy? That they won with pistols, and he was one of the guys that lived with a gun. And max round loss bonus, maybe. That's all I'm seeing. Yeah, he has 10k. It's just, it's crazy. Scoreline's 9 and 1. He's just lost the round and he's got 10k. But, I don't know. Anyway, it doesn't really matter. Straight back down. Drop the pain at the AWP. What was that? What? Oh! You model bug. You'll take <laughs> that. Alright. A little more like that. Maybe my freaking get another couple rounds in this half. Pain. Oh. Is he ready for this? What an off angle from Inns. Oh. Oh, it's just a battle of patience. Inns. Has he heard that scope though? Don't swap off now! What are you doing? I can't believe that. I believe okay. this though. Let's yeah, I'm starting it. to believe. Starting to believe in this round. You got two players down lower. <laughs> but it seems like Mindfree can't even head it in that direction anyway, so... It's largely going to come down to what Dexter can do and maybe whether or not Super gets one on this rotation. Good position to be in. Difficult fight for the CTs to take and Super does a beautiful job of locking down both of the rotators. I mean, Dexter requires the 1v4 and he isn't quite up to task this time around. So we'll head into the last round of the half at a 9-2 to two scoreline. Enough money for FlyQuest to mess around here at least. Very, very odd situation. Um, and I have got confirmation. Pretty sure Slimy was a bonder. But Gump may not have been. Oh. Because I'm seeing an assist. But I checked really late. Uh, but look. Final round of the half. Let's see what Mike have for us here. Early frog smoke out of the door. Inns can be able to get the opening. Gump will be first to go down. Vex hype from heaven. Ooh, running low on ammo. Util approach instead, and Mind Freak just trying to figure out how to get back in this round. Tux has snuck his way into vent, and it is not realized right now from the CT. So, Tux looking like he might want to try and control his rotations. Tells the boys, alright, make some noise here at ramp. And they're going to do just that, but it hasn't brought the CTs back towards the low side just yet. Ramp is on lock. A minute on the clock. And Mind Freak are going back to spawn. What have they got? Two smokes, a couple of flashes, and mollies. We're going out as wall of smokes. Trying to get down in the secret where they have some form of control with Tux already down there. FlyQuest are looking like they're pretty happy to play for the retake. Backside's gone down. Yeah, this is going to be the next port of call for FlyQuest as he starts his rotation into the B side. In fact, he's actually already gotten into dark. He's got a bit of assistance in the ways of Dexter, who does nicely with the nade and starts to push forward to take the fight as well. We'll get traded down. Needed to be traded down, but a job from Payne. Gets the double that was needed. That is going to gift Mind Freak a plant. Ali now tasked with the one on two. If he's not quick about it. He might just get flanked by Super, who's gone a little bit walkabout oh. from Decon. This is where things get a bit awkward for Ali, because there's just surely no way he's going to be expecting Super to come from behind here. You'd be expecting him to be set up in Decon. Right, if he's able to at least walk in there, and maybe he can spot Super out on a little bit of a flick turn around, something like that, when he taps the bomb, he oh. checks it, but he won't win it anyway. 9-3, to three. might be somewhat salvage the half.
Okay, 9-3. to three. Is that enough for Mind Freak in the first half? Well, probably wouldn't think so. But they did a bit of a better job toward the back end of the half. So the trend at least was positive. See what FlyQuest is going to bring to the table in this pitch around. Couple of smokes to play with. And a slow creep through Adder. Only is he one? No, there's... Yeah, one there. Tuck's hunting for anything. A little bit more damage through the smoke. Everyone's alive for the moment. Now I'm going to try to pick up the pace, but Inz is here on a lurk timing. Let's see if he's going to be able to maybe have the flank, but... Oh, at the moment, Gump locking down control room with the Julies. Ali didn't want to peek. Let's Gump do the peeking. And he'll hit the shot that he needs to. Inz here. Oh get timed and not find a kill in the meanwhile. Yeah, straight back to the A side by the looks of things here for FlyQuest. Won't actually be a bad choice. The Molly will keep Super at bay and it's going to at least allow a bomb plant. It also forces him into Dexter's crosshair. Okay, we're right back on for it now. Three on three. Dexter hiding behind Unbreakable. Liaz Ali for the rest of the job. And Slimey's been spotted out in lobby so make a bit more noise and try to push his way forward. That is a sharp shot or two. Okay. Another one for Mind Freak. You'll take it. You'll take it for sure. Pistol round might be able to set them up for success, but the key piece of the puzzle there for FlyQuest is they got the bomb plant, so they're going to be buying into the second and we'll see what Mind Freak can do to try to stop this one from getting across the line. Or if FlyQuest is going to not force and play for the next. Just deciding what they want to buy. Will be pistols, one Mac 10, and an AK in the hands of Ali without armor. Surely you swap that across to someone else. AK without a helmet, sorry. Guess not. Well, Dexter is going to work out on his own. See if he can keep the main freak rotations honest. There are a couple of players that are dedicated to that area of the map and it leaves super very isolated. The flash is a good one. That is going to give FlyQuest their first pick in the round and a bit of control of the ramp room. So options are available. Liaz will take that opportunity to bring the bomb down into B. Well, Taxi. Going to be able to catch that timing. And one bullet to the skull is all it takes when you don't have that helmet on, as we were saying just before. But still, main advantage. They need to try and get any form of map control, because just having ramping off that one-pronged retake might go against them. Dexter, fast rotation, and they seem to be aware of what's going down. Ends with Mac-10 in here, he's just going to get smoked off there towards control. Pain going slow, but sure, and in the corner, Liaz is hoping for a helping hand. He's got a help from Double Doors. He's going to be able to find his kill himself. And that's that, Gump, 43 points of health, won't live here with Inns running at him like that. Moving accuracy with Mac 10 is enough to get him across the line, and 10 will be secured on the board from FlyQuest. Yeah, it's not quite gone to plan for Mind Freak after winning the pistol. No. In a real spot of bother with not many options. Gonna force buy into this one. Tox has an MP9. Everybody else is going to walk away with a pistol, but wishful thinking. Not really much util on that CT side either to delay FlyQuest. Uh, we'll be moving quickly through outer. In's already starting to clear out hut. A lot of these close range angles need to be focused on in and around like this. Well, Gump's going to hear that. Knows that there is going to be at least one down there. MP9. So what double doors means that there's a chance for damage, but there's a chance for timing. And Inns might be getting knifed by the up and comer. However, his back's against the wall, so no knife. But there is the kill. 
and the information offline is good. Is damn good too. Vexite gets baited by having to clear the vent side. And Dexter, oh, will spot more. Gets the info. And one more play towards the door. Super. 5-7 in hand. And just hoping he can catch a timing. Wants to play the close range angle. Bomb not quite committing to sight just yet. But and Ali catches a timing. Nice little flank to wrap around as well. And in the 2v2, it's anyone's game. Ali. Need to be aware of sight. Speed Eagle. No gun in hand there, but will be traded by Dexter, who closes the doors. And now has to go for a little bit of a bomb retrieval mission. He's uh, going up. Oh, okay, well, he's at least got the info now that Gump was in control room. Doesn't necessarily beat him into the site, though. Oh. Oh, Whoa, no way. Gump went to go through it, bruh. Imagine if That's Gump would have just come flying up the ladder there and one beat That him. is, yeah. It was, there was a chance, but also Dexter, huge read on that one. On my screen that I'm looking at right now, I had, I couldn't see Gump. There was a perfect flame in the way, so I'm surprised that Dexter made that read and was able to see Gump popping up. That was crazy. Eleven to four. Another chance gone begging for Mind Freak. Has not been their night out on uh, the old CS server so far today. These aren't really going to be there to do the job this time around. You have to imagine. Time is limited on Nuke. Shot from pain though. Criminal. Guess the damage falls away. Unfortunately, there's not going to be any follow up. And Super will fall to the AK as well. And now the USP is just hunting for any kind of damage. Maybe an AK to save, and there's one. Final go down. Gump's got himself an AK at least. Maybe can take that into the next round to give Mind Freak a little bit more firepower. That'll be the goal at this point. Well, that will be the 12th for FlyQuest, and so that point already on offer. It hasn't really felt like they've had to work too hard in this map. It's really only been. One or two rounds that have come down to the wire. Terrorists win. Bang. No save. And not too much of a chance for Mind Freak to get back into this game. But they will go down swinging. They will go down fighting with a full buy on the board. But can they get it across the line? is the big question. Not much util brought into this one. Not yet anyway. Slimy is still trying to figure out where he wants his money to go. Pain, no armor. Wants that off. Wants to try and find as much impact as possible. We'll pick up some util from the ground. So let's see how Mind Freak play this. Looks like it's going to be three towards A. Trying to bolt to that side. Tucks not going to be able to stop anyone from getting down the vent, but FlyQuest not quite committing. They're just hanging around lobby and waiting for that util to bleed out that Mind Freak don't have too much of. Well, Smoke's keeping FlyQuest busy at the moment, though. Inns is creeping Whoa. his way out. Slimy was ready for it. I just thought for a moment, man, Slimy's doing okay, and then I looked at the scoreboard at 6 and 13. But I feel like he's had a couple of. Nice frags, at least. Yeah, nice moments. Impact plays. But also, FlyQuest are just completely pumped with impact themselves. So, just like that in a 3v5, they're going to still try to get out. Nice pick up the park. Slime. No, he has to extinguish that one. Oh, 
away. Good damage sent back into Liaz, but Slimy will fall and things get in a little awkward now. Up towards the rafters, Gump looking to close this one out for the round and pain. Oh, a pistol would be better here. Look at the health on both these T's, but he doesn't know it. No. But oh. he'll spot Alistair in the back. Now he's got himself a rifle, but Vexite will hit the headshot as required, and that is 13 to 4. Came down to a tight finish, but just have a look at that scoreboard there, and you can really see the dominance that Mind Freak brought to, sorry, that FlyQuest brought to the table today. Yeah, 20 frags for Dexter in that one as well. So, good day at the office for FlyQuest, kicking things off with, you know, about a 30 minute map. And frankly, it never really felt like they were in a very precarious position at all. Yeah, very interesting 